to Unit 3 of Android Basics. In the last unit, you learned more about layouts by building a tip calculator app that followed material design guidelines. You also built an affirmations app that displayed a scrollable list of text and images. Great job with those apps. Now, you may have noticed that the apps you've built so far in this course consist of a single screen. Next, we're going to take it a step further and build apps with multiple screens that you can navigate between. First, you'll build a words app. It lists letters of the alphabet, and clicking on a letter brings up a new screen showing words that start with that letter. We'll show you two different ways to implement this app. In Pathway 1, you'll implement this as two activities and use an intent to launch the second activity. In Pathway 2, you'll learn about the Jetpack navigation component and how to have multiple fragments within an activity. Then, you'll modify the Words app to use two fragments within a single activity. As these apps become more advanced, you'll need to learn about good app architecture so that your apps are easier to maintain and scale in the future. We've created some standalone apps that you'll modify to help you learn core Android concepts. For example, you'll work with the Dessert Clicker app to learn how the activity lifecycle works on Android. This will be important so that your apps behave as users expect. In Pathway 3, you'll build a game app that challenges the user to unscramble words. As the user correctly guesses words, the score is continually updated on screen. The concepts you learn along the way will all come together in Pathway 4. This is where you'll build a cupcake app that has different options on each screen for creating a delicious cupcake order. Whew, that's a lot of apps, but don't worry, you got this. See you in class.